Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving the error code 0x8002801C while trying to access or call the DLL register server on your Windows computer. So, I know that's the most common issue that anybody ever comes across in the entire world. So, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to fix it. So, we're going to go about Starting this tutorial with opening up the start menu, type in CMD, best match, should come back with command prompt, right click on that, and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and select yes. Now I'm going to have two commands in the description of the video. First one is REGSVR32, at least that's how it starts. And then it's REGSVR32 space WMM net MGR dot DLL. You can just copy that from the description of my video like I'm doing right here and just paste it into the command prompt. Just go up to the top bar here, right click on it, select edit, and then just paste it in. Hit enter your keyboard. Should say it has succeeded. Select OK. And then we're going to go run the second command. We're just going to again edit, paste that in, hit enter. So if you're coming into this issue with the second command here that we're running, we're going to go have to download the Microsoft Visual C++ 2008 redistributable package. So we're going to go ahead and close out of here. And we're going to go open up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one I like using Google Chrome. So that's one you know, we're going to be stuck with in today's tutorial. So open up a browser and we're going to type in a Microsoft Visual C++ 2008 redistributable package and just going to search that up and you want to go select the best result which should be from a Microsoft website again make sure you're downloading it from Microsoft that's very important there's a lot of third party sites just get it from Microsoft you're much better off and after your language is correct here go ahead and select the download button and give it a moment to begin the download process. Once it's done downloading, just go ahead and lock on at one time to open it up. Verify Publisher should say Microsoft Corporation and go ahead and select Yes. Select Next. You want to agree to the end user license agreement. Select Install. It may take a minute or two. Okay, so once that's done, you want to go select finish, restart your computer, and then hopefully that issue should have been resolved. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.